Hey everybody, welcome to Andrains of Golf Academy. As always, a warm welcome. Thanks for checking out the video today. First of all, apologies. Where have I been for the last three weeks? Well, the Golf Academy reopened on the 12th of April. Today is the 20th of April. Week before opening, I was just getting everything ready to welcome back customers. So I've been pretty slam busy and it's left no spare time for anything to do with like YouTube or anything like that. So that's why I haven't put any content out. Golf Club, Golf Academy is reopened. I'm now fully booked through to about the 15th of May. So I don't think there's going to be many YouTube videos coming out in the next three or four weeks. I'm going to try and sneak the odd one in when I get a lesson cancellation like I just had today. But otherwise, I'm going to have to wait till it quietens down a bit. The Academy always comes first. I've got to put my business before YouTube. Um, YouTube is just something I do in my spare time when uh, things are quiet here. But it's great to be back and doing a little video with you today. And what I need to talk about is the new Ping 2021 cutter range, which has just arrived. Been waiting for this one. Saw it uh, early last year and um, been really looking forward to trying it. So uh, let's tell you a little bit about it. We're not going to go through much tech and spec. As always, if you want to find out all the info and the details, just jump on the Ping website. It, it's very comprehensive and tells you everything you need to know. But let's just give you a few snapshots. I think the thing you notice when you first pick up any of these putters is the, the look of them. They're very stealthy. Majority of the uh, color design is black. You've got the sort of smoky black shaft. You've got the PP58 putter grip, slightly oversized, not super stroke thickness. Very soft, uh, black head, minimal sort of fuss on it, little red sort of um, flash on the bottom and some nice little colorings, but overall it does look stealthy. I'm just gonna jump onto the Ping website, tell you a little bit what they're saying about it. Consistency and predictability in both feel and performance ensure that these eye-catching 2021 putters improve results on the greens. Sounds good. They achieve new levels of forgiveness, relying on multi-material construction and a soft, responsive dual durometer, durometer even, insert across 11 blades, mid mallets and mallets. So it's a pretty comprehensive range. I'll flash up a few images as we talk about it. You've got three answer models. You've got an answer, answer two, answer four. You then move into some of the mid mallets. You've got some old favorites in there like the fetch. You've got the time four and you've got the center shafted time. And then we're seeing new models like this one. I think this is brand new. Someone will correct me if I'm wrong. This is the cushion four. And then we're also seeing new mallets like this one, which is called a, a CA70. No idea what the CA stands for. Maybe an abbreviation for Carlsbad. I have no idea what it is. Anybody knows, I'd love to, love to find out what that means. Um, technology, just give you a quick run through of what they're talking about, flash up some pictures. We've got shallow uniform grooves, shallower grooves that are uniform depth across the face combined with the dual durometer insert to provide a soft feel and consistent roll. The insert front layer of this, we saw this on Sigma 2, this PBAX, front layer of PBAX is softer for precision on shorter putts and the back layer, I guess when you're hitting it a little bit harder on firmer putts, is firmer to ensure distance control. We've got multi-material construction using 17.4 um, stainless steel, tungsten and aluminium or aluminum, dependent where you are in the world. And loads of other stuff, which I'm not gonna bore you with. Price, always like to talk about price. Uh, 249 in this country, UK pounds, no idea what there would be in America, Australia, or Timbuktu, wherever you are in the world. I think 249 for a lot of people sounds like a lot of money in for a putter, and, and I appreciate it. it is a lot of money. But if you're willing to spend 400 pounds on a driver, consider spending 249 pounds on a putter. I guarantee that you'll hang on to your putter longer than you hang on to your next driver for. Some people keep putters for a lifetime and they can last a lifetime because they're not under much stress putters, are they? They just kind of backwards and forwards without really putting any strain on it. So a good putter will last you a long time. 
Shall I shut up and we'll uh, go and roll a few pots? Let's go. I'm going to have a go with this cushion four to start with. I like the look of it. All 34 inches these, not adjustable. I'm not sure if you can get them adjustable or not. I'll have to check on that, but I just bought these for stock at 34 inches. I've been doing quite a little bit of practice in between lessons with these and that's a nice roll to start with. Yay! Bang in the middle. The one thing I really picked up on is a bit like Pinga say, it's a very soft feel off the face. Do you, any of you watching remember Fisher putters? You might well have one. Fisher did um, inserts and I think they did them in about three different colours. There was like black, purple, blue, something like that. And the different colours represented how soft or firm the insert was. And the thing I remember about Fisher putters is that the ball really sprung off the face, producing a really nice roll with lots of top spin on it. And I'm getting a similar feel off these Ping 2021 putters. The green's been freshly hoovered this morning, so it's running pretty fast. Uh, running about 10 on the stint metre. Can we try another one? I'm just picking one at random. This, this is that CA870. This is a mid mallet. Now this one, give you some little overheads and close-ups. This sits really upright for me. I tend to putt with the toe up, so I need a slightly flatter lie angle on my putter. So this one kind of makes me stand up a bit taller to it, which probably isn't a bad thing. Um, let's give it a roll. Oh, again, just, just a big shunt to the right there. But what a great roll. Let's see if we can get one in. I think we've got that one in. Not bad. Not for me, this putter. Don't particularly... Don't like it. <laughs> don't need to, to see how honest I am about that. It's not the shape for me. It's too upright. I, when I pick a putter up, I'm either like in love with it or it's like, no, could never get used to that. And I, that's how I just feel about putters. And I know a lot of people are the same. That's to take nothing away from this range. It's a fantastic range of putters. I think there's something for everybody in there. Very, very different to the Hepler putter, which has a much firmer feel. The Hepler doesn't have any insert. As you can see, it's just got this sort of plain face and there's no doubt that the Hepler gives a much firmer feel off the face. So I think Ping have covered their bases there. For the golf who wants the firm feel, go Hepler. If you want something a little bit softer and a little bit springier, then go on the 2021 range. The Sigma 2 range, in the UK, I'm not sure about the rest of the world, is now discontinued. You'll still see the Sigma 2 probably. This is a great range of putters. I really miss this one. Um, oh, there's a Cushing C, which is quite similar to what I've just been using. I thought this was a fantastic putter, and you might still pick them up in stores. This again had the P-Bax insert. Um, yeah, miss that one. But this is kind of, the 2021 is sort of the evolution I guess to move from Sigma 2 into the new range. There you have it. Anybody seen the 2021 putter yet? Anybody tried one? Anybody bought one? Anyone thinking of buying one? Post your comments down below. I will try and post some more content but it's going to be a little bit dodgy at the moment because I'm uh, otherwise engaged doing other things but I will try when I get time. Thanks for watching as always. If you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe. Hit that button down below. I'll see you all soon. Bye for now.